Hello and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. And today it's a quite a nice day in the Netherlands. We have some sun here and the temperatures are beautiful, I think, in my greenhouse. 24 degrees Celsius with a uh, humidity of 61. So that's beautiful, I think. But uh, yeah, today I wanted to do finally an update on my Fusarium uh, infected plants. Um, I did some other updates. I will uh, link them in the video, to sh uh, in the video, so you can check them out if you want. This is the first uh, one we're gonna have a look at. It's the Goldenmore uh, cross with Candida, and it's fairly wet. I probably have a little bit too much syntic, but as you can see, we have quite some roots. So, on the other hand, probably this orchid likes it. And we will uh, we get more roots in the pot there from that growth, but it's a bit brown. Let's check this. It's firm, so it's not rotting. But um, yeah, it's making new roots still, so that's beautiful. But probably in a new setup, I need to use a little bit more um, pumice. I have quite a lot of. Uh, Syntic here, and um, but yeah, it's 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 liking it. It's like I said, it makes quite a lot of uh, and shown uh, quite a lot of roots. So that's a good sign, obviously. So this one may be cured, or at least it's taking off again. So let's have a look at the other one. I have to the Cloesiae. It wasn't on my list. It's this one. Let's have a look at that one. Let me grab it. I will put it on the shelf above. It's a bit easier for me to film this. Well, first, this one has a spike. That's beautiful. I noticed that a few days ago. It was fairly long already. I didn't notice it because it was hiding under this leaf. But yeah, it's it's um, it's spiking, working on the bots already. As we can hopefully see. So let's have a look if I can let this bloom. I hope this one has some roots as well. Oh yes. Oops. They are a little bit tangled here together. Yes. Beautiful roots actually. We can see I have a little less synthetic on top. More mixed in with, uh, in this case it's small lacca with uh, lava rock that I had laying around, but I prefer small pumice. And you can see this new growth isn't, isn't as brown as the other one. So, yeah, I should know better, but I uh, didn't think of it while I was uh, potting the other one. But a little bit more, um, yeah, pumice or little lacca, little lava rock is better. So it, it's a bit drier. It's still damp, but a bit drier. And this is the Chloroesiae, and I think it's doing well, and I'm going to let it bloom because of the amount of roots there. It's not very, very much roots, I know, but still I just want to have a look at the uh, blooms, just to see how they look. And maybe after that I may cut a spike if it really uh, takes too much from the plant. But uh, here we have the next one. Um, let me make a little bit more room above the shelf above so I can place it a little bit easier here <laughs> it's a bit easier to film as well Cintiq but more rocks in a pot and roots and roots here this has a bit of a yellowing leaf but not as brown again as the other one as the first one we saw so that's better let's get this out of the pot and see if we can find some roots on this as well. I need to do it with one hand a little bit harder. This one has a more airy mix to it, but not much roots visible on the edge of the uh, inner part yet. But again, we see some roots growing down into the media. Actually, see a new one there. So this one is uh, also uh, doing okay. I don't know if it's saved, but uh, we will see. It's at least making roots. So I think we are 
uh, right track there and let's put it back so they get quite some uh, light here not too much but uh, I think they like it because they uh, really start to grow some roots again I'm really happy with that I think I can save these three so that's beautiful um, yeah I have that Oncidium George Verbonen that I need to look up but before I do that the ones that I didn't film but showed uh, in, a, in a, one of the updates are these guys and this one is blooming I have these uh, both of them in a blooming update so probably these are recovered this one has a heck of a lot of roots so it's really doing well and it's beautiful beautiful blooms these were infected with Fusarium as well when I bought, bought them but um, yeah they are really doing well now and I think they will get stronger and stronger at least I hope so I now will uh, look up the uh, George Fabone and I will be right back <laughs> actually that didn't take long yeah I know I can skip that part but I thought I'm not completely sure where I put it but it's this one I grabbed right away the right one so I didn't have a look at this one for a while I must admit because it's on the upper shelf of course I keep watering it but I'm not taking it off that often but again quite some beautiful roots two bulbs they did mature maybe they're still uh, working on getting uh, matured completely matured <laughs> how do we call it uh, so far so good this, they are quite strong looking so I will once again try to get this out of it out of pot so we can have a look at the inner pots. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was just, I, I'm impressed. You guys, look at this. I had seriously no idea. What a root system. So yeah, I think we are going good with this one. Look in the back. It goes on and on and on and on. What a roots. Pissarium affected, you guys. But I hope that's done. I hope the fusarium is gone. But yeah, I, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm really impressed. This one is really, really going well. Two bulbs. So yeah, this yes, yes. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> Let's have a look. George Verbone, Oncidium. I have seriously no idea. The other Metonias, because they are standing on this shelf, it's very easy for me to check them, at least on the upper uh, section of the pots. And I saw the roots going in, I discovered a flower spike. But like I said, this one is uh, living on the uh, top of the shelf. And yeah, I just don't take them off that, off that shelf that, that much. But it enjoys its spot, I think. It's receiving quite some light here, not too much, of course. But it's an Oncidium, so it likes its light beautiful right this is the uh, Catherine sock but we're not talking about her <laughs> yeah I'm happy I'm really really happy so for those four plants there's not one that wasn't taking off this one ha doesn't have much roots but it makes roots so I think this one will be okay and it looks like it has two bulbs to all the bulbs but we did split them so basically the, those are two different plants just so one bulb with one new growth so I can imagine that this one has quite a hard time to get that grow growing roots in a pot so if we consider that and then look at the plant I think it's doing fairly well same goes for these two guys and once again this one is on the, on the wet side I don't like that so maybe I need to think about it, but I think I'm going to do a repot on it. I don't like to do repots, especially with Arcus who are having a hard time already. Maybe, no, I maybe I thought maybe can I can take some Syntec out, but I will break some roots, so I don't will do that. I will not do that, I'm sorry. Probably take it out, very gently, try to let it f fall that media down around, f away from the roots basically naturally by taking it out of the pot and then put it back in a pot and fill it up on with only small pumice like uh, this one this is not pumice but the same idea so yeah I think I need to do that in, in the near future but this is the update I'm, I'm really impressed you guys I had no idea 
if you see the first video I'm where I'm cutting, I'm being very, very rough on these guys. But that's the nice thing of uh, making updates and video, uh, yeah, make, making video about your archives because you can see the progress in, in, in if it goes well, of course. But now I have quotation marks, proof that this can work. I'm not saying it will always work, but I'm the, um, the kind of grower that I'm really rough. I don't want it. I don't try to treat it. I cut it off until I see fresh... Uh, clean tissue and then I stop and then I try to regrow them because I don't want that in a pot but I cannot say that I don't have fusarium in these pots I'm not sure but I try to limit it as much as I can once again by cutting off uh, infected tissue and it left me with all of these ones with one bulb and just a starting new growth but still you can see here it is possible same goes for the Jorst Verbonen. and it was one bulb with two new growths and both of them did take off. The bulbs are a little bit smaller than the first one. This is the first one probably but yeah it's not much and probably maybe they are still uh, maturing so who knows and we saw the roots on this guy so yeah this is my way of dealing with Fusarium. Thank you for watching as usual if you have any questions please let, them, uh, let me know in the comment section below and uh, for now, I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.